Have you ever felt paranoid when getting onto an escalator? Like, there are so many warning signs on them. But why? Is it because they're dangerous? If so, then why are there so many of them everywhere? To understand why they can be dangerous, let's take a look at what they're made of. For them to move, wheels are connected on the bottom to revolving chains. They're pulled by a gear at top of the escalator, while the others follow behind it, like a pulley system. Electric motor inside moves the handrails to give you more stability. Lots of individual steps make up the moving stairs. Each step has grooves in it to fit together when it flattens at the top and bottom platforms. They're painted with yellow marks so that you don't stand too close to the edge, because these gaps are where most things get stuck. Soft-soled shoes in general, like your flip-flops, are extremely flexible and they get caught in the teeth of the escalator platforms or in the gap between the steps here and the side of the escalators here. That's the reason for those no-crop signs on escalators. The steps going up or down, they are moving parts. You need to have gaps so that they can move smoothly and not scratching the sides here. In 2008, a Singaporean child got her big toe ripped off when she was wearing Crocs on an escalator. A 49-year-old man even fractured his leg when his slipper got trapped at the escalator's landing platform in 2019 in a mall along Jalan Tuanku Abdul Rahman. And so many similar cases have cropped up since then. Of course, it's impossible to always be wearing the proper shoes just to ride an escalator. So maybe try, just try, to stay within the yellow lines. Secondly, they're not made like stairs. Another reason why accidents happen is because escalators weren't meant to be walked on, like most of us do when we're in a rush to catch our movie or the LRT. They were originally made as a carnival ride. Walking on escalators is not the same as walking on regular stairs. Escalator steps are wider and taller than stairs, which makes it steeper. An article on the National Center for Biotechnology Information found that out of the people getting injured on escalators, the most common cause was from walking on them. By the way, have you followed our Facebook page? Subscribe to our YouTube channel while you're at it too. So remember those problems we were talking about earlier? To fix these problems, safety upgrades like emergency stop buttons and deflector brushes have been added to many escalators that we use today. You see those brushes on the side there? You think they're for cleaning your shoes? That's not what it's for. Huh. You got free uh, shoe polishing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I sometimes I do that. You know? This regulation has been implemented about five years ago. Uh, now the government or the authorities required all the escalators in Malaysia to install the what we call the uh, skirt skirting brushes. So the brushes are there to block the gap here, so that you won't stand too close to the edges. Just like the yellow paint, you probably ignore anyways. They're also meant to keep hair, dust, water, and oil from getting into the gears, which can damage its internals and make cause it to explode, just like what happened at London Underground Station in 1987. There are also red emergency stop buttons at the top and bottom of the escalators, which will stop it if something goes wrong. The other safety is the left and right side, first and second steps of the stainless steel panel at the bottom next to the steps. There are sensors. Sometimes you just panic. You think you're going to find the red button, you just kick the side, you know. You give it a kick and the escalator will stop. So, if they have such dangerous platforms with sharp teeth at the top and bottom of them, is this simply a human error or a design flaw? Why don't they just make safer escalators? In 2011, a mechanical engineering professor at London City University came up with a freeform escalator called the Levitator. It's like a big loop so that one single escalator is actually two moving stairways, both up and down. Instead of a platform, the Levitator flattens out as a moving walkway. It doesn't have teeth at the platforms too, making it safer. Unfortunately, the Levitator isn't currently being used anywhere yet. However, you gotta admit, it is a pretty cool invention, and hopefully one day we'll see it in action in the future. Now you know why there are so many warning signs on an escalator. Do you have more topics that you want us to take a look into? Leave them down in the comments below.